starting with that second Denver game and with these two two wins in a row, do you feel like you guys may have gotten back on track after what um, I'm sure you're hoping was the worst stretch of the season? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the season is, is about runs and ups and downs. And, and you know, uh, that was, you know, it was a tough part of the season. But, you know, um, like you said, we started in the second Denver game, we played well, and um, that poured over to our next two games. And uh, hopefully we can continue with that. Seeing, uh, seeing DeMar hit that game winner, what do you think that meant for the club and just for him personally? Was that the one, you know, was that the moment that can spark a team and, and you know, have momentum going forward? I mean, well, that's his job. You know, he comes, you know, put us on his back and, and finish the game for us. And, you know, I don't think we needed it any more than, than that game at that time. And, uh, you know, that's what he's here for. How are you feeling? At this point, and after all these games, and after you know going through COVID, how are you feeling? I mean, it's tough. It's been a tough season, not just for me, but for everybody. It's just a lot of traveling, a lot of moving, a lot of games, a lot of consecutive games. Um, but you know, you know, I'm not going to sit here and complain because nobody else is, and nobody else cares. So, you know, we want to push through. We're going to get as many wins as we can the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Let's go to Jeff McDonald. Rudy, does it does it seem like with Lonnie back, he's kind of brought a, a fresh energy to that bench to that bench unit. Yeah, I mean he's another one of our guys. Having him back is, is, is you know you know refreshing. Like we, we we have that fresh energy. We have that another guy, another guy with energy that can go out there and run and be excited and, and push the floor of the game. So yeah, we're glad to have him back. The dunk he had against Dallas, is that the dunk of the year for you guys? Um yeah, because we, I mean, we, we stay on him about dunking. You know, he's so athletic. And he likes to do, you know, a little flip stuff. He does to the basket aggressively and, and look at the outcome. We, we were all laughing kind of at the bench reaction to that that dunk. Everybody was going nuts. And, and it yeah, just I seems mean, like there's there's such a joy with, with his play. He surprised us. So, you know, it, it, was, it was one of those things that, like, okay, okay. He finally, he's finally getting it. <laughs> it seems like you guys are having fun. With him on the floor, sometimes. I mean, is that is that underrated? Sometimes that that playing with like having fun and playing with joy does is that underrated with a team? Sometimes. Yeah, I mean it's basketball. I mean this is although this is our job, I feel like we should have fun with it. I believe that. <laughs> I believe if you enjoy your job, you're gonna work a day in your life. So you, know, you have to go out there and enjoy what you do, no matter what it is. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks, Chef. We'll wrap things up with Jeff Garcia from News Four. Rudy, just want to quickly ask you, uh, with the uh, cram season, you mentioned it being tough. Uh, do you worry about injuries as the season goes through? You saw what happened with uh, Denver's Murray. Uh, what are your thoughts? We're athletes, so yeah, we were we, we prepared for being injured regardless. You know, it goes a lot goes into every game, and I mean, obviously, some circumstances happen, and we hate to see another brother go down. But you know, this is what we work for. This is what we do. This is what we prepare for, and. and Sometimes you can't control things. Thank you, Rudy. Rudy, thank you. Have a good game tonight.